So did you know that Marvel's, or I should say Disney Marvel's, Blade has been in development hell for years? Remember when that was announced back in, I believe it was 2019? So what's the latest development as it pertains to the Daywalker? Well, we have some news, folks. And that news is this. Marvel Studios' Blade removed from 2025 release schedule. Disney dates Predator Badlands instead. So this article is from Deadline from Anthony D'Alessandro. And what comes as no surprise, Marvel Studios' Blade won't be coming out on November 7th, 2025. Remember, this movie was supposed to come out in 2022. But, you know, we've gone through a couple directors, a few writers. Heck, we even had a, a, a rumored story about um, the movie was going to take place in, I believe, the 1920s or the 1930s. And Blade's daughter was going to be the main protagonist in the, in the film. But... What do I know? I'm just a guy sitting here in his home office making videos <laughs> to know that that doesn't sound good at all. It's not Blade. The reboot of the famed Wesley Snipes Marvel movie was first announced at San Diego Comic-Con in 2019 with two-time Oscar winner Marashala Ali starring. Production and development on Blade hit unavoidable delays with a global pandemic and dual industry strikes. Well, those contributed to the delays, but again, eight writers. I think that's the latest number. I mean, I don't know how hard it is to write a story about a half-human, half-vampire daywalker who basically hunts vampires. It's, 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 it's not a hard formula. The project saw two directors exit. First, Bassam Tariq, who was eyeing a fall of 2022 start. Then Jan Demange. Mia Goth is set to play supervillain Lilith in the Vampire Slayer movie. She told Deadline's Natalie Sytek at the world premiere of her A24 movie, Maxine, that in regards to the Blade delays, Marvel really care they do. They want to make a great movie. That's the sense I get from them, and that feels good. But does it take six years to make a great movie? Now, over at Cosmic Book News, Matt McGloin, if you haven't checked out his stuff, check it out. Disney drops Marvel Blade from release schedule. Blade, starring the two-time Oscar winner Marishala Ali, was supposed to be released on November 7, 2025, but Disney has yanked it from the schedule. Instead, Disney has opted to release 20th Century Studios' new Predator Badlands movie on that date, November 7, 2025. The news comes via THR's Boris Kit on X. Breaking, Disney Marvel officially takes Blade off the release calendar, and in its place will be Predator Badlands. It's also learned that Disney has announced release dates for three untitled Marvel movies in 2028. So we have... Dates of 218-28, 5-5-28, and 11-10-28. Your guess is as good as mine on what, what could be on those release dates. So what happened to Blade? Well, it's been in development hell since it was first announced way back in 2019. It's gone through numerous directors and reportedly, reportedly at least a half dozen writers. So what happened is that, much like the past five years of the MCU, the clowns at Marvel creating content wanted to destroy Blade and replace the character. Reports have offered Blade was supposed to be replaced by his daughter in the MCU, which fits with Disney and Marvel's agenda for the past five years that promoted the message ahead of quality story. Even the trades reported on it, which is unheard of, so you know that means things were really bad with the movie. Details released about the MCU's Blade movie include that two-time Oscar winner Marshala Ali was going to take a backseat to female characters in his own movie. Yep, that sounds a lot like 
Disney the last five years through most of phase four and into phase five. Variety previously said the story at one point morphed into a narrative led by women and filled with life lessons. Blade was relegated to the fourth lead, a bizarre idea considering that the studio had two-time Oscar winner Ali on board. It's guest Ali put his foot down, which led to all the delays. Now Disney has yanked Blade from the release schedule. Ali will now star in the new Jurassic World movie with Scarlett Johansson. Um, like I said before, it's not a hard formula. Back to basics. What does Blade do best? What do the first three Blade movies do really well? Blade was hunting vampires. Now, after seeing Deadpool and Wolverine this past summer, and you got the cameo from Wesley Snipes' Blade, and you had the little um, piece of dialogue where Wesley Snipes said something to the effect of, I'm the one and only Blade or there will only be one blade or something to that effect. Um, myself, I would love to see Wesley Snipes come back and be blade in the MCU. As long as he had some control over the writing of it and, and do blade justice like the first three movies from the early two thousands. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. I mean, Blade is, 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 are we going to see a Blade movie? Maybe, possibly. Can we see a Blade movie with Wesley Snipes? Maybe, possibly. Let me know in the comments. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will see you guys later.